First up, guys, Reese here. This is my Nightmare Zone guide. First off, I want to say this is not going to be the best, most legit, well edited voiceover guide. It's going to be a couple live commentary parts just put together, maybe even one. So, first thing I want to say if you've never done Nightmare Zone before, you won't be able to get the overloads and absorption pots. For your first trip, you're going to have to use prayer pots or food or something to get you some points because you can't buy these straight away. But this is a D skim strength attack defense guide kind of thing. Um, obviously, you're not if you're. Oh, my, what? Um, no, no, never mind. If you're not doing um, strength, you'll be using a whip or something. You won't be using a deep skim, obviously. But yeah, it's a melee guy, pretty much. Um, it's very welfare, semi AFK, lazy, um, cheap, even make money method. So, alright, we'll pretend you don't something. You don't something? Alright, you don't have points. So, what you want to do, if you do have points, you want to get your pots, right? So, this is how much I use. Just drop the overloads. Randoms, great, great, great. So I'm gonna grab two, do tw two, twelve, twelve doses of overload, which is three full pots, um, and then just fill the rest with absorption pots. And then what you wanna do is you wanna trade one of these boosters, right? Uh, we'll pop up the quest list right now because I don't know what it is, but you should have them all done. If you don't, I don't know. Um, so yes. All right. So you wanna do one of the hard demon um, boosters, um, unless you have done. Mountain Daughter and the other Witches one. I think I've done the Witches ones, but I haven't done Mountain Daughter. So you want to find someone that you've done all the quests with. Like I said, there'll be a quest list. And then pretty much what you do, these are boosters, and then they'll get you into the game. So let's trade this person here. It's normally 20k. If you're seeing anyone higher, it might be a bit sussy, but maybe 15, uh, maybe it's 25k. But if there's someone saying like 50, 60k, I don't know what's going on there. But yeah, they're normally all bots anyway, so they might scam you, um, but... Just good luck and hopefully don't, you don't get scammed. So they'll invite you in. Oh, sorry. A rock cake is not needed, but it is helpful. I'll tell you why in a sec. All right, so first thing you want to do is overload. If you don't have overload, because like I said, if it's your first time, you want to pray. When you get in here, see like, oh, I missed it. That was all the monsters that came up because it was a booster. So yeah, the thing I'm doing here is getting the lowest health I can get, right? Because say if the monster's max is 30, right? And I have 30 HP. It hits me 30 and I've got absorption pot up. It's going to take 30 health away from my absorption pot. But if I go all the way down to one health, or two health, with the rock cake, it can only max a two, right? So it's going to hit two over and over again, and it will take way longer to get me down, so my absorption pot will last way longer. Alright, so your overload, you have about 25 seconds to get your health down. Pretty sure exactly what it's for as well. And then you want to just drink your absorption pots all the way up, and then that is legit, like, pretty much it. This is If you're doing the prayer method, you just be praying here, and then keeping your overloads up. And that's seriously what you do. Auto retaliate, make sure you're using the right attack style, and then yeah, you just send me AFK. Every five minutes you have to re overload. That's the thing that can um, ruin your XP per hour. If you miss an overload by a couple of minutes and you keep on doing that, it's going to ruin you because the massive boost you get. But yeah, it shouldn't help you that much. You just want to sit here, all the mobs will come to you. Pretty easy stuff, just auto retaliate. But with my gear, I get normally 160 to 220k points per time, which is really good. It's around I don't know, 50 minutes, maybe close to an hour. And seriously, you just sit here doing this. You can bring another spec weapon. This is the lazy guide, right? So there's things that spawn, like little orbs that you click, then they give certain stuff like spec restore, AOE damage, recurrent damage, stuff like this. But like I say, this is the lazy method. You just sit here and you don't get any of that. So yeah, see, two minutes, I would overload, and you want to keep this kind of high. And also, same thing with the, um, how I was talking about the rock cake, right? Once your health regens to around 13, 14, you want to try to make your absorption pot run out, pray again and then start spamming the rock cake so while you're praying they won't be able to hit you down but yeah you'll spam the rock cake until you're down to like two health again take off your prey absorption pot all the way back up and this you pretty much do this and you're just getting the uh getting the xp and it's seriously just this afk and easy all right i don't know if i went over this already but you need to fill your coffer before you go in you want to put it uses 6k per time so yeah put 50k in there and last you a while so yeah i don't know if i went over there but if i did double warning use your bloody coffer Alright, another quick tip is if you need to go AFK, bathroom, toilet, out, whatever, um, make some food or something, and you're going to go for longer than a couple minutes, what you want to do is you want to drink all these up until you're 990, I think that's the max it goes to, then you want to pray, right? And if you do that, you could you should be able to last almost, f I want to say close to 15 minutes, um, if you are quite low already, and you can like seriously AFK for 15 minutes if you just put like that. So that will use your prayer, and then after your prayer runs out, it'll start using your absorption. So if you do that, it'll make it AFK for ages, but the one problem is you'll miss your overloads. But 
that's the price you got to pay. But yeah, say if you are in a bind, you got to quickly go out and you don't want to babysit this and you got to go out for a couple of minutes to do something. I'm not advising like going to the shop or something, but if it is something really quick, um, you can do that and you should be able to survive a little bit. You can get less XP because your overload will run out after five minutes, but whatever. So it's a quick another little tip. So yeah, I think this video is almost done. I don't know if I forgot anything, but if I did, I'll check the description. Uh, check the description, and I'll maybe post it in the comments as well. But I hope I, this helps from you guys. Good luck. It's quite AFK easy. Um, that's the whole reason I'm doing it to get 99, and then go back to Slayer. It's just something to do. I want a 99 cape, and I couldn't be bothered. It'd take way longer doing Slayer. But yeah, this is it. AFK easy. Bit of fun. Also, you make a bit of money. Oh yeah, okay, I'll go over that. After you buy your absorption pots and your herb uh, and your overloads, you will eventually start getting um, enough points that you can spend on other things. So if you want to build your Slayer Helm, whatever, do that. And then you'll be able to buy herb boxes every day, which gives you a couple hundred K. Well, maybe not a couple hundred K, but actually, yeah, you can get like 15 Ranas per box. So yeah, you buy that once per day, you can get 15 boxes, and yeah, you'll start making money off of that as well. But make sure you have enough potions and stuff before you waste your points on other stuff.